apologies Holding back, I got history So I have two more to put up over there. So I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. So yeah, this is what the coding school is starting to look like. It's coming together. Super excited. It's gonna be really cute once it's filled. Y'all, I've been eating some m &Ms. Look, so good. Try this mix. But yeah, I just put the, this is where the teacher's gonna be. Let me move this. Teacher will probably be like right here in this little corner. He'll sit there. We're working on this because we have the projector screen. This is the projector. We're gonna put this up so he can like teach on the board. But how cute. And that's where the teacher's gonna be. And then this is what it's looking like. I don't know if I showed you guys the wall since we've added this stuff on there. Let me show y'all. So this is what it says. My husband had somebody come out and put these on the wall. So yeah, coding school looks so good, you guys. So like I said, just two more computers coming. I think they're like our dark blue compared to this blue. And I'm gonna show you guys the outside wall. That's what that's looking like. <laughs> you dancing girl. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the front of the building. Okay. You're not, so this is what the coding school looks like. This is what the outside looks like. So it's the Lina Code Academy, how cute. So yeah, I'm super happy for my husband. He's doing good, y'all. 
And then this is what this one looks like. How cute, right? Yeah. Oh, I ain't showed them all of this yet. So yeah. I'm gonna show you guys for sure. And this is what the brochure looks like. Looks super cute. And these are all the things that they're gonna be learning. Look how awesome. This is level two. So level one, level two, and then we have level three. How cool, and these are some of the things they're gonna be learning. And this is what the back looks like. How cute. So this is what we're handing out to everybody. So yeah, you guys, the website should be up soon, so you guys should definitely go check it out. But this is what it's looking like. guys so this is what it's looking like we have all eight computers now so the other two came today so we have like the dark blue one we have silver we have red let me show you guys red and then we have the turquoise color so that's the other color we have so super cute, you guys. This is what it looks like. This is the coding school. So, yeah. And we just put this chair together. I don't know if I showed you guys, but that's where the teacher's gonna be. So yeah, you go. This is everything. This is so cute. So cute. And, of course, I've showed you guys this a thousand times, but this is what it looks like out here. So we just got some nice relaxing music playing right now. Sarissa just went home for the day, so that's what her desk looks like. Oh, and then I want to show you guys the coding books they came in. So this is what they look like, the coding books. How cute. So let me show you guys one. It's just like different things in them. So each kid will get one when they sign up. And then our color here is purple for the coding school. That's the school colors. And so I ordered some purple shirts. And I'm gonna be making some that says Salina Coding. So each kid that signs up and that participates in the class, they will get a book and a shirt. So how cute. So they can go home and work on this and look through it. This should just be like, you know, thank you for signing up, coming to class. So some of the books got here the other day. And yeah, this is just one of them. So how awesome, how awesome. So yeah, I just wanna give you guys that little update. Hey you guys, welcome back. So I'm actually up at the office again. Um, or if you guys want to call it the coding school you guys can i'm actually going to put the link down to the coding school below so you guys please go check them out so any links i have in my description box are either links um of me and my husband's businesses or um of my parents church so they'll be the only other links so yeah we have a few like the girls home we own um the coding school his conic app business is there his crowd goat business is there as well so you guys definitely go check those out and then before you know it i'll have um posted um down below also my website for my may crafts business so you guys please go check those out support us i would greatly greatly appreciate it but yeah i'm just here getting some work done i had a list of things to do this week and today's wednesday so far and i've literally just been checking things off checking things off so i just wanted to drop in and give you guys that idea and maybe that will help you guys through your week so basically i made a to-do list this is kind of what mine's looking like and on here I had, I'm gonna give you a few. I had to call and make reservations for my son's birthday, so I did that. 
um, posting the video for this week. I did that, I edited it, and I posted it. Um, I'm currently working on a new intro, outro, and banner. So I did that. I'm working with um, a young lady. She's helping me out with that. I have ordered my tumblers so that I can put those on my website. I ordered my t-shirts that I got done. Obviously, they're actually here. So maybe by tomorrow, you guys will see me unboxing those. Um, I have, I need to get some papers that I was supposed to fill out. I need to get this filled out and sent over. Um, so yeah, and then I have a few shirt orders I need to get done this week too. So that will also be on my to-do list for tomorrow. So yeah, I've literally just been like checking stuff off. And then also I need to get ready to um, basically do my photo shoot for my shirts and tumblers and everything else that I'm gonna be selling on the website so that I can have those pictures ready for the website so my website can be up and finalized. So yeah, I'm super excited. I just got back um, some of the new updates for the website. So I'm excited about that. Everything was done perfectly other than one thing. I just want a new like header for my title. So I'm currently looking up ideas that I want and then I'm gonna get that sent over to the developers. So yeah, everything is definitely coming along. I'm just, I'm super excited. So yeah, I just wanted to like pop back in with you guys, but I'm about to start filling out some paperwork so I can get this faxed and scanned or scanned and faxed or whatever. I think I'm scanning it is what I'm doing. And yeah, I just want to check back in. And then today, I also have to go to a funeral for my friend. Her grandpa died. And yeah, I'll be going to that at once. So that's what I have on this little um, black dress today. So yeah, I just have a lot going on. But like I said, I'm crossing everything off. So I got my cute little notebook. Let's see what it looks like. And I'm, just, I'm getting stuff done, y'all. I'm getting stuff done. Oh, and I picked up this cute little notebook from Fire Below. I went in there with my daughter. She wanted to get some stuff. My kids, my son was there too. And I was just like looking around. And then I saw this cute little planner. So cute. So when you open it up, it has like stickers. And it has like August, September, October, November, like all the dates. And it has like little things in there. And basically you can like put the date up here and then like write whatever you need to write down. So it goes like that for all the months. So I really like this one because it's not necessarily a calendar. You know, I can just kind of fill it in, but I want to do week by week, day by day, whatever. And I can just like write down what I need to write down for that month. So I really like this. Like I said, it's not a calendar. There's no dates or anything. So I can literally use this all year long. So I'm excited. This is so cute. So I'm gonna start using this here soon when I need to like write notes. But yeah, y'all, let me get back to doing some work. My brother and sister, they were just up here um, using the computers in the classroom. They're learning how to like trade and do all that stuff. So I think that's like really, really cool. They're in here trying to grind and figure out another stream of income. So super proud of them. They're like hustling. It was pretty cool. We were all sitting here working on something. So it's just cool to be in the midst of young adults trying to make it basically, trying to provide and have multiple streams of income and work for ourselves and just, all being super business minded, I, I dig it. So yeah, let me just stop talking because I can tend to talk a lot. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump back into my work. guys good morning so my shirts came in so I'm about to inventory those and I'm gonna put them right here my tumblers and stuff come in tomorrow so I'm gonna inventory my shirts today 
But first, I'm gonna eat some food. I got some breakfast from this little restaurant called Gourmet To Go. Just potatoes, eggs, sausage, and bacon. And then I got a fruit, or oh, it comes with a fruit, a cup of fruit. And for my drink, I got iced coffee. So I'm gonna do that, um, check some stuff on my computer, and then I'll inventory. So I guess I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. Gonna keep you control, yeah. Condo by us, you give me everything, yeah. I like it when you let me drink you in, yeah. Condo by us, you give me everything, yeah. I like it when you let me drink you in, yeah. Take your time, go slow with me. I want somebody to grow with me. Don't you know, ain't nobody stopping us Gonna let go, yeah I'm gonna let go, gonna give you control, yeah Cuando bailas, you Okay, you guys, so this is what I have so far I'm still doing inventory, I'm counting them And I'm putting them up on the shelves So this is what it looks like So these ones are like performance t-shirts these are like regular everyday fitted shirts so these shirts here are unisex and then this one and then the black ones these are girl t-shirts and then these ones I have over here that are colored these are also unisex t-shirts so yeah this is what it's looking like I may end up needing to go get another shelf because I still have another shirt order I have to do and I obviously don't have enough room so yeah, so I have X large, large, medium, and small. That's how I'm doing it right now. Then I have three different types of shirts. So that's a group, that's one, and then that's one. Three different types. So yeah, this is what's going on so far. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason. Why I should ever let you go mm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up no, I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up Without you Baby, without Welcome back. Sorry, I know you can't see my face, but I really want to show you guys this because I don't think I've showed you guys how I do my sublimation printing yet on my shirts. Or sorry, on my channel yet. I don't think I've showed you guys. Um, but I just recently learned how to do sublimation printing and I've really been like trying to perfect the craft, my craft of sublimation printing. And so I've been able to figure a little bit out. Um, but right now I'm working on some shirts um, for a football team and I'm making like, um, like almost like little jerseys. So I have to do 1 through 15 and I'm on number 11 now. I've been working all morning and I was like, hey, let me film for you guys. So with sublimation printing, you guys, you have to have a polyester shirt. You can only really um, print on polyester. There is a spray that you can pick up off of Etsy. It looks like this. You guys can use this spray to sublimate on cotton. It works, so try it out. I may have to show you guys in one of uh, my videos, but this is the name of the spray, and I brought this off of Etsy. It honestly didn't take long to get here. But anyways, you 
need something to go in the shirt between the front layer and the back layer so that um basically you know sublimation is ink so that it doesn't bleed through so basically you can put something in the middle and it can be anything you guys it can be um parchment paper anything put it in the middle so that it doesn't bleed through so you know what sublimation of course you're printing on a paper and so this is ink and then you're literally going to lay it down and put your heat press on and that's it sublimation is way easier than vinyl i love it um it's just quicker so on my website i will have obviously some sublimation things and vinyl and still same thing if you're printing on a shirt you still have to mirror your image and so on and so forth so this is mirrored and i will have to show you guys like an in-depth video here soon maybe i can make a shirt for you guys later on and show you guys how i supplement but I literally just ordered these shirts yesterday and I had an order of 15 shirts so pretty excited about that so right now I am just um, getting my shirt positioned evenly on a shirt and I'm using my ruler to measure and then I'm going to put some um, heat resistant tape down so that my paper doesn't move because it can move and then it will just mess up your whole shirt it will basically like smudge and so yeah that's what I'm doing so I'm going to speed this up a little bit but you guys will get the concept 19. heat tape guys this is what my heat tape looks like I'm going to measure one more time 18 18 that this is centered your heat press should be set to 400 and you press down for 60 seconds and that's about it My given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now I like to press it down a little bit before I start Try to get out the wrinkles and um, Just moisture So that the sublimation ink will print well to the shirt so i just got done with 11 now i'm about to do 12 i'm just going in order and i'm laying it down remember my image is mirrored and i'm going to measure again 16 go over just a tad. My weakness keep on linger, linger on. On repeat like it will be my favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on. But you got me good. You got me good. I keep on trying to defend. Still, it feels like a... Okay, y'all, 
I just finished. I want to show you guys the um, paper that I use. So I order mine off of Amazon. Um, you get 110 sheets. So this is the brand that I've currently been using. Um, I know that you can buy sublimation paper for black shirts. So you can get 100% polyester um, black shirt or any dark color shirt, honestly, color shirt. And there's um, a special sublimation you can buy for that. But this is the one I buy or I currently use. I haven't tried using anything else. So if you guys are into sublimation, go check this out. And it does come in, I believe, a bigger size. So I just got the normal standard size. So that's what it looks like. Then this is the printer that I use for my sublimation. It's just a regular printer that I picked up from Walmart and I turned it into a sublimation printer. So I have the S Spin ET4700. That's what I have. And so in here I have sublimation ink. This is not regular ink. So you guys with sublimation printing you need sublimation paper and you need special sublimation ink. The thing is, it has to be a brand new printer. You cannot have used a regular printer ink prior and then try to change it into a sublimation um, printer. No, it has to be a completely empty tank that has not ever had anything in there. And your first time putting anything in there, you're using sublimation printing ink. Okay, you guys? So even on the paper, let me show you guys. The back of the paper, like this is what it looks like. It's for sublimation printing. This is not regular, like copy paper. The paper even feels differently. Okay, now as far as the ink, let me show you guys what I use. I'm gonna find it for y'all. Where is my sublimation ink? Okay. So as far as the ink, the brand that I use is this. It's this uh, Hippo brand. And it's Sublimation Ink. This is what I use. This is what the box looks like. I already have this box open. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So you have like your syringes. Because this is how you put them in your tanks. You fill them up with your syringes. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Okay, so you have your syringes. This is how you fill them up. Um, and then this is what the ink looks like. So it clearly says supplementation ink. And this is what it looks like. So, it tells you, you know, your your printer is labeled so it tells you which one to put what ink in and you have black you have blue those are the four colors that you have red and yellow and remember with sublimation once you use it you cannot use it again like it's just it's done the ink is out you can't continue to reuse this sublimation paper. I literally just have to just throw it away. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Just threw it in trash. So yeah, you guys. Let me show you guys the shirts now. So these are all the shirts that I've made. Today I got 14, 13, 12. That's what they look like. So they're all on the back of the shirt. We have 10. About to fold these up. We have nine. We have eight. Uh oh. We have six. I, ha I went out of order. I, ha I had messed up on one, so I had to redo it. Seven. Five. Uh oh. Where's my four? I have four. Three. Ooh. I have two and one so i'm about to fold these up and get these um 
to the person who needs them. But yeah, those are the jerseys that I did. And these are performance, um, performance shirts. So they're good for people who play sports or want to work out or maybe you're supporting a football game. Like they feel really good. You can work out in these, just whatever, playing a game, anything. So these are shirts and I don't know if I finished showing you guys yesterday, but that's what it looks like over there. So I've already used the first, my medium and my large of these shirts. So I just sold my first 15 already. So that's awesome. So I gotta sell all of these and all of those. But I'm excited, my business is growing and my tumblers, they should be coming in today. So yep, there'll be another thing on my website. So super excited. I may have to order more because I'm selling out so much that it may not be enough by the time my uh, website opens up. So, yeah, but I'm excited. And the, these shirts up here are for the coding school. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to be getting more colors in soon. So, just bear with me. I'm working my way up, y'all. I'm working my way up. But this is what I have so far. It looks so good. I'm excited. Pretend, keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. As my head on Look what just came in my tumblers so my tumblers that I'm going to be selling on the site literally just came in today so this is what they look like and I'll be able to customize them for you guys and put your names on it and yeah I'm super excited so these ones just came in I have four cases and my other two are up there. So yeah, you guys, all my things are starting to come in now for my website. So I'm excited, super excited. It's coming together. You guys, I'm starting to feel like I have a whole little mini warehouse now. This is just too cool. I'm just so excited. So yeah.